and welcome back. What we're going to be looking at today is being able to create titles for your current affair segment. And the way we do it, and just to give an example first of all, is have a look here at sort of the bottom left. That's what's currently showing up and it shows throughout the whole video. Um, this here is obviously um, the person who's actually reporting. You've got Channel 9, the broadcasting company, and a little bit of a logo here, which is actually a hyperlink to subscribe to their actual channel. So what we're going to do is create a title that looks um, the way that, well, hopefully a simple one. This is quite a complex one, but we'll hopefully create a nice simple one. Um, so it lets us get started. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into your Premiere Pro. And the first way I'm going to show you is probably the simplest way. And if you go ahead and you press Control T or Command T if you have a Mac, and this will actually bring up this new text layer. And let's say you might want to call this Current Affair um, in the Hills. You'll notice that uh, that obviously goes a bit off the screen, but we can fix it up quite easily. And we're going to go ahead and use a selection tool and we're going to drag it back over. Now, the way that we can actually really add some effects to it is if I go into my editing, I go into my effects control, I make sure that this particular uh, section of text that I've just created is view visible. And now what we're going to do, you're going to see this arrow that's pointing off to the right. We need it to go ahead and drop down to reveal more information about this particular um, bit of text and how we can actually modify it. So the ways that we can go ahead and modify it, of course, we can go to our source text is our first thing. We can choose the look that we're actually going for with the uh, different examples that they have here. So you may go, you know what, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty professional. I might stick with that. You can then go ahead and you can change it if it has those options to change it. Let's see if this one does, may not have it. That's okay. And you can change the sizing. Now, for some reason, my sizing does have some issues. So just give me one second. Right, so what we can do, we can actually go ahead and change it using this scroll. Now, if for some reason it doesn't scroll, some I have some issues sometimes on my computer, just go ahead and save the project, close the program and then restart it and it should work just like so. So now we want to sort of make it take up a certain percentage. So let me go ahead. This is actually quite a bit of a long title, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and put it into sort of that section so it gives us a bit of a better look at it. So we we'll sort of keep squeezing it down. Now I'll, we can do that last, but what we can do from here is we can then add different elements to it. So we can have it so it's all sort of center and that's great. We can go ahead and we can add it so it actually looks taller or um, not taller, sorry. Change it so the distances are apart a little bit more. You can go ahead and play with these other ones to make it stretch or shrink, depending on which way you kind of want to go. Um, let's have a look at this one. This one here is once again shifting some of these different text bits over. Okay, so the next thing we can actually have a look at is appearance. So we can go to fill and so we may want our color to sort of be changed. So we can change the color if we do want. Um, I'm going to stick to white for the moment. We can add in a stroke and you can change what the stroke color is just to give it a bit of more interest if you wanted to. It's only very subtle so what you can do is uh, go ahead, let me just change the color just to show you what it actually does. And you can kind of push it out a little bit and give it a, this nice little flare effect. You can add in a background if you really wanted to. Um, let's go and change that just to give it a, a better look. So let me just choose something that's not so harsh. So maybe I might just go the black because when we push it over something else, you'll kind of see that that will stand out a little bit more. Um, you can then obviously play around with the sort of uh, what's the opacity and things like that as well of the background. Um, you won't be able to see it like this if you go to black, but if you put it over, let's say another image, and I'll do that right now. Hopefully, you can see that's how it's going to look on your actual image. And you might just want to flatten it out just a little bit, just lower the opacity, like so, and you can increase or decrease the size of your box accordingly. Um, you can add shadow if you want, you can mask the text, but I wouldn't do that. You can go ahead and you can um, change where its um, position is, change the scale, rotation, 
and all the rest of that kind of stuff. And that's a very simple way to create um, a title. The next way, number two, is you can go ahead and you can jump into graphics. And with graphics, what you can do, hopefully it'll come out, you can go to browse, and you can choose something that's already there. Um, I chose this one here, but you're more than welcome to choose some of the other ones. Hopefully it does come up, otherwise um, you can go with the option I've just shown you. So here we go, I've just gone ahead and I've added this in. Let's go ahead and download it. I'm gonna just be able to, I wanna be able to see it, so give me a second. So for some reason it is not showing me what this is all about for some reason. But let, give me a second, let's see if we can figure this one out. Ah, okay. Uh, because I've made so many adjustments, so let's go ahead and do this now. All right, here we go. For some reason, it's now come up. It's now come up. I can see it. This is our main title. So you might want to call this Current Affair. And we'll put in a little subtitle here if you wanted to. In the hills. Cool. So once again, you can go ahead. And there are so many more options in this one. There's a text one here you can actually go ahead and change. Now this already has some position stuff in it. I'd recommend you pull this out. You can just click on it and it'll delete what's called keyframes and you get rid of it because essentially what it does is it sort of moves into position and moves out. And for this example, we don't really want that to happen. Okay, we can change the text here, um, change the source text. So we might want to change that all over. So we might want to go semi, not semi ball. We might want to go to, let's say, uh, this one here, so is UI, and you might want to change the other one as well, and that's great. Now this is where we need to be a little bit more precise if you want to really kind of give it a different sort of flavor and look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in at probably about, I don't know, let's say 150. Um, this will get you right into the image itself. Actually, maybe that might be too close. Let's go to 100. And so this way we can actually play a bit more with our, our logo and image. So what we want to do is go back to here, and I might want to go ahead and I might want to shrink a lot of this because it doesn't need to be all that big. It just needs to sort of stand out a little bit to make sure that people are aware of what they are watching. You can go ahead. You can change a lot of different elements in here, including because I've got three shapes. You can change this color. You make it a, let's say, make it a green. Great. Make that really stand out. We can go down to the next one, the shape here. Change that again. Let's go ahead and make that some nice. Uh, let's make this in maybe a, a yellow of sorts. Maybe a bit too bright. Okay, cool. Make that a yellow, and then we'll make the last one something else. All right, green, and we'll keep it blue, but we'll just push it to it. it makes it a really sort of stronger color blue. All right, cool. And that's it. Now, what you can do as well, you can actually shift some of these tiles individually. Um, and this might give it another bit of flaring effect. So you can put this one over here, let's say. You can put move this over here, just to give it an extra bit of, of nice look. And that's pretty much it. If you want to go ahead and play around with the other functions, you, you know, you're more than welcome to. So we'll go back to fit. And that is what our title actually looks like. So the third option um, is, and I won't show you how to do it, um, but you can use Photoshop. And you can create one from scratch um, if you wanted to, and then you can import it into your actual um, footage. So you might want to put one here for titles, and you can just drag it in, and that will keep everything neat and tidy. And then you can include it. Or obviously, other ways you can use uh, things such as paint. We can go online and get to create your own. I don't really mind. Um, and so we're going to move on to our part two, which is uh, very much an option if you want to, but I think it's probably good to have. And this is going to be able to go ahead and create titles for the teachers and for the students. So the way that we do it once again is we're going to go ahead and we'll start this one from scratch. Is I'll go ahead. We know that this is Mrs. Ellery actually speaking. I'll press Control T. If you have, if you have a Windows PC or if you've got a Mac, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and press um, Command T. So now I've gone ahead and created Now you're wondering what I just did. Now this here allows me to paste into certain layers. And I don't want to be pasting into V1 because that'll override it. So what I've done is I've just clicked off the first one and onto this one here to do Control T. So now I can go ahead and go, 
All right, I know this is Mrs. Ellery. And I'll double check the spelling as well um, with the information that I've given to you on OneNote. And we can go from here and it's once again, it's just literally playing around with some of these functions, getting it to look the way that you want it to look. And hopefully by the end of it, you'll have something that's quite nice. And all you have to do is you can then go ahead and copy. And then we'll get on to, let's say map over here, control V. So I'm gonna control C, control V, or you can do command C, command V. And what that does is that it essentially allows you to go ahead and copy and paste. And so we can just change this one now. We'll change this one to um, Matt, and then we'll call him student. And that's it. And then you can drag it for however long he's actually speaking for. And that is how we create a whole range of titles. And you can continue that the whole way through. If you want to do it at least just once, just to say this is who these people are, that's fine. You don't need to do it for the other ones. If you want to go ahead and do that, that's up to you. But I'll probably just leave it there. Um, and if you do get stuck how to do a title, um, just have a rewatch, maybe go online, check it out, email me, which is perfectly fine. And that's it. That's how you create a title or titles, I guess for your um, current affair sort of uh, projects. Thank you very much.